Well everyone, here we're at the Mercedes-Benz Test Centre and uh, we're going to take the 4148 eight-wheeler out. Uh, we're going to go out on the run in a minute. Uh, we've got trucks all over the place, which is fantastic. Six-wheeler and we've got an eight-wheeler. The AROC Performance Day took place at the legendary Mercedes-Benz test facility in Salzburg, near the Unimog and Worth truck plant in Gaggenau, southwest Germany. There was a fleet of around a dozen AROCs to test, ranging from 4x2s up to 8-wheelers and tractor units. There was even a 4x4 canter. One of the features that Mercedes-Benz was keen to show off was the Turbo Retarder Clutch, the TRC, which combines a hydraulic start-off clutch and a retarder into one joint unit. The TRC facilitates sensitive moving off and maneuvering even at the lower speeds, and as a primary retarder generates over 470 brake horsepower. Together, again, with the high-performance engine brake, it can generate over 640 brake horsepower. There's a radiator, hydraulic system, there's a fuel tank with capacity of over 900 litres and then a compressed air chamber and a few other components and that's all housed within the chassis. Of course, as most of us know, when you're going off-road, you've got a couple of selections really in terms of it comes to features. You can either have a, a, a selectable 4x2 and 4x4 option, or you can have a permanent four-wheel drive solution as well. Well, Mercedes has come up with a third option now, and they're keen to show it off. It's called the Hydraulic Auxiliary Drive. 
And basically what it does, it's got an, in, uh, an engageable wheel hub motors on the front axle and that helps it really increase the traction along there. And you can see it here now. So of course there's drive on the rear axle all the time, but these uh, motors within the wheel hub at the front help to engage it. And you engage it just by literally pressing a button inside the cab and the necessary slip sensitive power transmission is then fed across there and it helps it phenomenally. What a great piece of kit and very, very good. For if you're using occasional off-road use, I wouldn't say if it was the 60, 70% of the time, that's not right. But if you're normal, um, let's face it, a lot of traffic's like that. It's normally about 80, 90% on-road, but that 10% off-road, then this is a perfect solution.